I'm Laura Bates, I'm the founder of the Everyday Sexism Project, a feminist activist and the author of Girl Up. It's a really simple project, it started in 2012 and it's a website, everydaysexism.com, where anybody can share an experience of gender inequality. So it might be street harassment, being shouted at, being catcalled, or it might be a more serious incident of sexual violence. I started it because I felt like when I spoke to other women and girls, we were all experiencing sexism on a really regular basis. But when I I tried to talk about sexism, people told me it didn't exist. They said, women are equal now, there's no problem. And I realized that we're all brought up to feel like it's normal. It's just something that we have to deal with. I wanted to get people realizing, actually, this does happen, and it is a big problem, and it's okay to talk about it. When we started Everyday Sexism, I was really overwhelmed by the number of entries that came in from really, really young girls. I didn't expect that. So we would hear from girls who were eight or nine years old when men first sh shouted really sexually explicit things at them in the street. We would hear from girls who were 12 or 13 when boys at school were holding up pictures of glamour models from porn magazines and rating them out of 10 next to them. Girls who were 15 or 16 years old when they were first experiencing unwanted sexual touching. And it made me realize just how much girls are dealing with. And what really shocked me was that no one was teaching or talking about these issues. And really we need to be talking about it with young people of all genders, you know? This shouldn't be about saying to girls, you should look out for these problems or you should be avoiding things. We should be saying to everyone, it's your responsibility to treat other people with respect. It's only compulsory for young people to learn about the biology of sex. No one has to learn anything about consent or about LGBT rights and relationships. And a lot of young people I met were really confused about those things. A good example, I think, is that I've met lots and lots of teenagers who think that a rapist is only ever a stranger in a dark alleyway, and they don't know it's possible for rape to happen in a relationship. I think that there's lots that you can do to get involved, which is fantastic. If you have a look at the SRE Now website, which is srenow.org, then there's a big page there on how to get involved, and you have options like writing to your MP, writing to Justine Greening, who's the Minister for Women and Equalities. Uh, you can talk tweet, you can sign a petition, and of course you can also get involved in a more local level. If you don't want to wait for things to change nationally, you can talk to your school, you can ask them to do more in this area. The other thing that's been amazing is that in the course of doing this work, I've met so many girls and young women who are taking matters into their own hands. They're not taking it lying down. They're not a group of cowering victims. You know, This isn't all a depressing story. They're fighting back. They're starting feminist societies. They're taking pro Protests. There was a group of girls at one school, for example, who were told that they couldn't wear leggings to school because it was distracting the boys in their maths class. And so the next day they all came to school with these placards that said, are my trousers lowering your test scores? Which was just such a great way of fighting back.